welcome to a brand new episode here on Carmland's Farm. So as you can see, we're in the tractor with John today. And uh, he's uh, busy mulching this uh, ground. This what was rape field in the last episode. <clears throat> and uh, we got it combined and now we're, uh, we're mulching away. I, uh, I couldn't work out why all of my fields are like kind of 98% yield bonus but not quite the 100 and I could never get it over to the 100 and then I figured it out of course farming simulator 22 expects you to mulch the ground before you do anything to it so we're mulching the ground and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in um, originally it was going to be our subsoiler but our subsoiler doesn't work with the tram lines too well uh, it doesn't scrub them out and if it doesn't scrub them out then it's very hard um, to, to, to redo the fit to redrill the field without it looking a mess so it might be that uh, drag or I might even buy a plow and just let cause play plow this um, and then we can come in sort of behind with um, a seed drill and then uh, and then drill it uh, you know, we could even buy, if we wanted to, a sort of three to four metre um, combo drill to, to, to drill behind the plough. Um, so, you know, we could do that if we wanted to, but uh, we'll see how it, uh, how it transpires. But yeah, so we were just out, as I say, in the uh, Kubota, as you can see, just doing a little bit of... Um, mulching and uh, just getting the uh, stubble disappeared and then uh, when we get back round we'll jump out of the tractor and uh, leave John to it um, and uh, we'll go to the Massey Ferguson and we'll get those ramps on that uh, flat bed folded up I don't know if you can remember but at the end of the last episode we started to put some machinery on uh, the flat bed so we're getting rid of the uh, front loader and we're also getting rid of the case uh, bar mall, I think it is. Um, we're getting rid of that as well because we we don't really have a great deal of need for it. And at 130, 40 horsepower, I can't think what it is off the top of my head. It's not really big enough. Um, you know, ideally, I would like a third, as we're we're starting to gradually get bigger now, and uh, you know, we're getting more land, and um, you know, we I want to uh, to have three two hundred horsepower tractors, uh, you know, all capable of doing uh, any job on the farm, and that little farm all just isn't. Um, it's only two wheel drive as well, which you know, means a lot of slippage and everything else. So I, I, I think it's time that uh, that tractor went. I won't necessarily be replacing that tractor straight away. Um, the front loader we're getting rid of because we've got a telehandler, so we don't need a front loader. I originally bought it because I, I fully expected all the telehandlers to be over 200 horsepower. Um, so pleasant surprise when uh, I realized they wasn't, but by then I'd already bought a front loader for this tractor. So it's a case of oh, okay fair enough we can now get rid of it so we'll get rid of that i've got a few other little bits and pieces that i want to do around the farm so i want to get rid of the current chicken coop that we've got i want to get the new one in and i want to get the chickens in today um and i also uh, would like to uh, as i say purchase another at least one more grass field and get that cut and mown and silaged so that uh, we'll get out here john thank you mate and uh, get that silaged and then um, get it sold and then we'll have a bit more money and we can start filling these animals into these um, pens then but uh, as I say first things first today we're going to get rid of uh, these uh, two things um, I might even end up getting rid of the subsoiler and I'm really not sure what to do about the spreader in terms of having a sprayer as well now do I get rid of the spreader or do I keep the spreader? Because theoretically, if we've a lot of fields that need spreading, we've got a sprayer and a spreader and we can sort of have, you know, two fields being done at once. So might just for now keep it here. Um, but I think this it's a great idea. It was a good idea that I had, but the, 
biggest problem I've got with it is is that uh, it just doesn't get rid of the tram lines and I need something to get rid of the tram lines and this little drag over here does get rid of the tram lines but as I say just to sort of be a bit because this sort of drag makes my fields because obviously it's square so therefore I can make nice square corners um, so I might um, we need to shut the lid on the uh, combine not that it talks of rain today but even so so we will uh, shut that we'll get this done and then as I say we'll then come back and then um, and then uh, we will uh, get on with the right hang on a minute before I move I will strap that down really didn't I does this have straps this trailer uh, no by the looks of things it does not oh well, let's go in tractor and press L does that work nope okay so we might have to go very very slow with this tractor then either that or surely it wasn't an option when I bought it uh, do, 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 what would it have been under bale trailers no it would have been under low loaders wouldn't it let's have a look down here where's the low loaders there they are there it is so you could have it as a bale trailer you can have it as a flatbed or you could have it as a bale rack and bale wedge bale wedge bale rack standard or bale, but nothing there to say about straps so we'll keep our eyes on that I'll put some flashy flashies on just so that uh, everyone knows I'm driving <laughs> and uh, yeah we'll get as I say we'll get off to the uh, store and we'll get these sold and then we'll come back because we'll have a little bit more money then we don't have much more money because these aren't worth very much but we'll have a little bit more money and then we're gonna buy this field just to our left as we're coming past this grass now we're gonna buy this because we own the grass at the back end of that as well so field number four uh, and uh, and uh, what we're going to do is is uh, mow this because we then this side of the if we buy uh, so if I just pull that up actually it'd be better if I did it here so in purchasing this field here where my mouse is we will actually give us three well it will give us four new fields uh, three new fields sorry so it will give us this field here or this bit here which is onto that bit so that'll make a decent sized field there and then it will also give us this field in here and then this field in here um, which is quite good uh, so uh, that's the uh, the bit of land that I'm targeting next uh, and again that's all being targeted for arable um, I don't want to uh, any more uh, buildable land at the moment we you know we don't have the money nor do we have the products and resources that we need to to make that worthwhile so that's going to be um, that's going to be our task get that bailed get those two bailed and that will get all of it bailed and then um, and then tomorrow on the game we can get it sold uh, need to put the time back on uh, and uh, yeah and we'll as I say we'll go from there because I, as I say I'd like to get just a bit more money just to push us on to the next stage and then gradually we're gonna as I've said many times before we're gonna then sort of phase out the selling of bales for money we're then going to be relying on ourselves but I do at the moment need fields because um, although I've again forgotten to put it into the mod folder uh, or if I've got it in the mod folder I've forgotten to select it um, uh, we've got a new another mod that I want to I've never ever used before didn't even know it existed uh, until probably last week maybe the week before um, and uh, I'd be interested to have a go with it and see what happens uh, I also want to get the beehives in uh, so we've got to try and find somewhere uh, for that and for them 
uh, and uh, yeah, so we've we've a lot to do, um, and uh, it uh, promises to be another busy episode. But as I say, we'll crack on down to the store, and then we'll get these sold. It looks as if the um, stuff automatically welds itself to the trailer once it's on, so because they've not moved, they've not even wobbled. Um, so sort of a clever design on, on behalf of the modder, but I would have liked to have seen straps. Um, but uh, as, as I say, it's still uh, it's still good enough because nothing's fallen off. So, oh dear. Uh, just <clears throat> ignore that bit. Oh dear. Like I say, don't tend to edit this stuff out. A, because I think it's a little bit funny, but B, you know, I'm not perfect, as I've always said before, and, uh, you know, these things from time to time do happen. Um, I mean, if you guys kind of sort of like, you know, message and say, well, actually, it spoils the immersion a little bit, then, um, you know, fair fair comment, and, uh, and I'll start editing it out. But And to be fair, um, it doesn't happen all that often. Uh, it was just, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Um but uh, I misjudged the uh, angle that I was coming out at. <laughs> sound like Tyrone on uh, Snatch. It was a, a funny angle. Tyrone, it's a three ton truck and it's behind you. Anything that is behind you comes from behind. <laughs> I love that film. <laughs> Not that you'd know. Um, but <laughs> and then Tyrone looks at him and goes, It was a funny angle. <laughs> Uh, dear. You're the best tractor driver on Farming Simulator, Jack, uh, Tyrone, aren't you? Of course I am. <laughs> right, let's get <laughs> it's out and sold. Uh, dear me, that's so funny. Anyway, we'll get this, uh, as I say, we'll get these sold. So how much are we going to get for that? 24000 That's not a great deal, but it's a bit more. Every little helps, as uh, someone on the TV from a big supermarket chain once said. Um, feel free if you want to sponsor me. That's all I'm saying. Seven thousand for that. Uh, Four hundred twenty-five for that. And the other two things I want to keep. Thanks very much. Ah oh dear, oh, that was funny. Anyway, I don't know what happened to my front way for this tractor. Did I leave it here? Probably. More than likely. Because the biggest problem is I come to the stall with it on, but I buy something for the front. <laughs> like a seed tank or a spray box or whatever, or a spray tank. Um, don't think there's anything I want from the store at the moment. What's in the, for sale? Ooh, mm, no, I think we'll give that a miss. No, can't pull that. I mean, that's no good to us. So no, we'll uh, we'll head back now to the farm, and uh, try not to uh, head on with uh, any uh, silly French cars. Um, and uh, we will, uh, as I say, make our way back to the farm, and then we'll purchase that land. We'll crack on with the mowing, and uh, we'll get the job done. Uh, and the jobs are good. So uh, I'm gonna flip you over to some nice music. And I'll see you in a little while. Bye for now.
and I'm back. So, the rape field has been not only uh, mulched, but also ploughed as well, but for some reason, and I have no idea why, but as you probably noticed during uh, the time lapses there, uh, for whatever reason, it's left really thin stripes through the field, which is a bit bloody annoying, to be honest with you. Um, but what I'm going to do is the tractor is in here now somewhere, be somewhere about uh, powering. So we're going to get it powered um, over overnight, I think we'll get it done. And then, uh, so I'll get that done off camera. And then when we come back tomorrow, um, the bales that we did, so all of those bales that we did will be ready for collecting and selling. Um, and then we can then get on. So, one thing that I did do, well, what I thought I did do on camera, but I clearly didn't because, again, I hadn't realised that it had stopped recording, is I got rid of the chicken coop that I wanted to get rid of, and I've put this one in. And I did also get the chickens and feed the and put the feed in the trough. I only put, uh, I think it needed uh, 107,000 uh, food for the year. Because uh, I've got an uh, uh, an animal food calculator, and it worked out that I needed 107,000 litres um, of uh, chicken food for the year. So what I've done is I've put all of the wheat in there. Um, that should then be more than enough uh, food for this year, and then we can start, you know, get growing some more wheat. Uh, the field that. Um, Can we not go in there? No, that's a fire extinguisher. James, no good pressing that. Are we not allowed in there? Oh, I would have thought we would be allowed in there. Are we allowed through there? No. Oh, well, that's actually surprising because I would have thought we, as I say. We would have been allowed in there. Nope. Oh. What does that do? Absolutely nothing. But I'll turn on shed lights. So that just did the lights. Oh, well, I would assume that we would have been allowed through there. Oh, well, never mind. <clears throat> so how are we supposed to uh, see and check on chickens then? I mean, oh, yeah, we're allowed in. Oh yeah, we were allowed because this is the bit where I bought them. Oh, anyway, <laughs> getting completely distracted here. Uh, yeah, so I put the chicken in, and uh, all the chickens, I should say. And as I say, next time uh, when we come back, next episode, once we get those bales sold, the dairy cows will go in as a matter of priority. Um, so it does mean that we're going to have to try and buy another field or two. We'll also do some more mowing, um, but this time we need... Uh, hay and uh, silage um, so we won't be selling any of those bales because we need hay silage and we also need straw as well and at the moment we don't have uh, any crop oh yeah we do we have the um, the uh, oh, what is it called you know the big tall crop <laughs> maize <laughs> or corn <laughs> Honestly, um, <laughs> recording this quite early in the uh, morning, and uh, yeah, my uh, my head's not quite with it yet. Uh, hence the reason, uh, as well, my voice is a little bit quiet. But hopefully, as well, these should be getting close to uh, ready to harvest. Not only the maize, but also the sugar beet as well. Um, so if they, you know, then they turn, you know, if the sugar beet comes before the maize, which might do, I think I did 
drill them both on the same day but anyway but if it does we can get the pigs and we can get that started um, um, what we'll do is is we will uh, find somewhere around here uh, that we can um, dump the um, sugar beets on maybe that grass but we'll find somewhere anyway and um, we'll tip the sugar beet and then we can do or we might even just tip it here to be fair and then we'll be able to uh, just feed the the um, pigs but yeah so all in all and we can also get some sheep as well because we'll have a hay bale so uh, well, we'll have a few hay bales hopefully but we'll have enough to um to be able to feed the sheep because the sheep aren't going to take a great deal because the chickens i can't remember how many i put in there 120 so i put 120 chickens in there um the actual barn itself will hold 5,000, so they're going to multiply up by a long way um the sheep i think hold 60. let's have a look 400 on 400 i thought that was 60 i don't know why uh so 400 so again we'll probably get um so 10 20 30 40 yeah so we'll probably get 10 of each and uh just let them multiply up so again they're not going to eat that much uh for a start and then um i think i think that particular barn is 450 for them and i can't remember how many that is i think it's 500 for the cows that'd be a trigger in here somewhere it'd be over there yeah i think these i think this cow barn is um 500 let's have a look yeah it is yeah and so then it'll all be dairy that goes in here so yeah anyway that's enough of me uh gibbering uh, as i say i'm going to bring this episode to a close because it's raining now anyway so there's not really much else i can do and then uh, next episode when we come back hopefully that field should be uh powered um or certainly a good way into the field because the first job is we're going to get the drill on to this tractor and we're going to go and drill it uh and we're going to drill it with soya beans um or possibly wheat actually thinking about it a because i need the straw and the wheat will also go some way to feeding the chickens although i'm not desperate for chicken food at the moment um but yeah anyway we'll figure that out next time so if you haven't done already please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i have no idea what's going on with my subscriber account i'm beginning to think that this is not quite as legitimate as as what we're sort of made to believe because so ever since i've got into the 360 mark i've gone up to five back down to zero like 360 and then gone up three and then dropped two and then gone up three and then you know drop one gone up five drop back down again um so i'm i it's a bit erratic and and i genuinely don't think people are subscribing and then you know two hours later you know five of you are unsubscribing like you, do you know what i mean like so i'm not too sure what's going on but anyway we'll keep fighting it anyway but um you know that, like i say it's a, it's a bit of a strange one at the moment i don't know whether this is normal for youtube or you know whatever because obviously i mean you know i've never done it before so but it seems a bit odd but as i say if you haven't done already please don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really does help the channel uh, it helps me to grow uh, and uh, it also helps um you know the channel is gonna progress because I, I do realize we've got possibly into a slight little rut um where you know one day we're doing you know 1950s the next day is britain's 1950s the next day is britain's well there is going to be as i've said before another series coming and then um i i don't know whether to then sort of do it so that we have maybe four or five save games that we're doing on different sort of, you know and and sort of doing it 
differently on each one obviously I don't know I mean I think the biggest problem is is that when I decided to do uh, YouTube I I'm a long-term player so you know basically what that means is is that I get a map and I intend to play that map you know for months i mean i haven't done it since 2015 but in 2000 the 2013 iteration of farming sim and then the 2015 iteration of farming sim uh both of those games i found a map within the first three or four months of the game on 2000 i can't remember what the name of the one on 13 was but on 2015 it was um uh, I'm probably not going to pronounce this right, but Los Hoogland or Hugeland or something like that. It was a German map that then came out for uh, 19, but it was called Asholt in um, 19. And, um, but in 15, it was called Los Hoogland or Los Hoogland or whatever. Um, and it was, it was a big map. It was obviously set in Germany. Uh, and, uh, and and basically, as I say, the game came out in the November. I think that map came out in probably about the April, May of the sort of following year. Uh, so, you know, about four, five, six months, whatever that is, uh, after the game came out. And I played that map all the way until 17 came out. Um, 17, I didn't really have a map. I just kept jumping from map to map. But... Up until uh, the end of 15, I'd always sort of found a map and then played it. And then 19, um, I found two maps that I played um, for pretty much uh, a long period of, of 19. Not for all of it, like um, Los Hoogeland or whatever it's called, but uh, was home uh, Homeworld. And, uh, and again, I'm probably going to butcher this pronunciation but it was um gospardo taimon kawohu or something like that uh, map and um that was an awesome map and again that was a massive map um <clears throat> so much so that um i had to sort of kind of break <laughs> my my uh, my it's not really a rule but I'd, I'd sort of just like to keep it farming but i had to buy a helicopter so that i could actually quickly travel to the other side of the map um because uh, it, it was huge that map and um as i say i really enjoyed it but so with not with 22 and i mean it's coming to the end well we assume it's coming to the end although i did find uh, the last giants video intriguing um in the sense that it said fs22 is going to continue to grow um so quite you know what that sort of means whether there's a sort of hint or clue there as to you know something that you know that this game's going to be just updated all the time which i think is brilliant because it means we'll be able to keep the vast majority of our mods and you know we can still have new things in the game uh, like we have uh, this year but uh, yeah so as i say the original point um you know i, I tend to play things long term and i think I forget that that's not necessarily entertaining for other people and maybe you know you kind of want my saves to be um, you know sort of 20 30 40 episodes and then we move on again and then but the put the sort of the the downside to that is is that you know sort of every sort of 20 or 30 episodes or whatever um, or 40 episodes we're going to be starting again and you know and that's why my um I mean, the new save that's coming within the next week i would think i i'm uh, i'm hoping that uh, today i can get all of my uh, recording done for the rest of this week and most of next week and then uh, either tomorrow or saturday i'm going to um uh start recording uh, the new um episode the new series because i've waited around for the oaks the oaks map is still two or three weeks from completion which you know is absolutely fine the you know the the map maker uh, farms in briscoe needs to take his time and needs to get it right and needs to um, 
but at the same time, you know, as I say, this game I think possibly could be coming to an end, and I want to get on with with uh, Homewall because it's a sort of challenge that I've sort of kind of given myself. Uh, so Homeworld, I don't, you know, I think most of you know Homeworld, but it's a massive map, and the plan is is that we start in a small corner, or we start in a small fit, uh, farm. And we literally build up so that we farm and own the whole map and we have to successfully farm the map we have to also do all of the productions that are available to be done we you know and and we have to then continually run the farm successfully with you know without sort of dropping the ball uh you know for a couple of years so it's going to take you know it's good it's going to be well into the hundreds of episodes um but there is a slight sort of um something that i want to try with that save which i'm not gonna say now uh because what i might do is i might do it like a pilot episode where i sort of show you the farm show you the equipment show you where we are tell you what the save's gonna be um because i'm gonna try something a little bit different don't you know don't it's not gonna be you know hugely spectacular <laughs> do you know what i mean um but it's just a little sort of, I think, a way that the game can be played now. But anyway, I've gone on, as I say, for far too long. So, yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'd just finally like to say, it's been really great having your company with me on this uh, episode. And I really hope you join me for tomorrow's. Bye for now.